Hey everyone, welcome to Filter Grade's guide on animating logos in Premiere Pro. You've probably seen some really impressive logo animations where different parts of the logo interact with each other, and in this video we'll be going over some of the basics that you need to know to animate a logo, what makes a good animated logo, and then how to create a slightly more advanced logo animation so you have the tools you need to express your own creativity and try things out. Let's start with some groundwork. Why do you want a logo animation? The primary reason is that it's more dynamic, interesting, and eye-catching than a static logo on a commercial or a video. Especially when it comes to online content, viewers may decide whether they want to keep watching the video or not before your logo even finishes animating. So it needs to be high quality and engaging. Remember, people have low attention spans. A 20 second intro before the video might be a bit much, so aim for 3 to 10 seconds, preferably on the lower end of that range. While a logo animation could be as simple as a fade-in, a more engaging logo animation builds curiosity by revealing one part at a time. Even if it's only 3 seconds long, a logo animation tells a story. Basic logo animation can be done in the effects control panel. Drag your logo into your timeline and open the effects control panel for it. Here we'll be using keyframes to animate basic properties. Let's start with scale. Set a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch. Then move the playhead forward and increase the scale to where you want the logo to end. Now we just have a simple scaling up animation. To make this animation smoother, we'll be using Ease In and Ease Out. Right click on the first keyframe and select Ease In. This means that it will ease in to the animation. Right click on the second keyframe and select Ease Out. This will make it ease out of the animation. Easing in and out creates smoothness, letting animations start and end slowly and ramping up rather than suddenly starting or ending a movement at full speed. It can make logo animations seem a lot more natural than if the movement was just linear. You can play around with all of these different tools and use them in combination. Now let's animate opacity along with scale. Now we can have a logo that starts invisible and fades in while it's scaling up. Keyframes of these effects are the basis for all logo animation, so make sure you understand what each property does. So that's how to animate a logo if you have access to only the fully rendered image, but the possibilities open up when you have access to each individual layer. Here's a simple logo I created in Photoshop. To get all the layers into Premiere Pro, just drag the Photoshop file into your project and select to add individual layers. The layers will be placed into a new bin. Now you can drag each of the layers on top of each other. You should see your logo as normal now. You can now animate each individual layer differently. In this example, I have two different rectangles making up the outer shape, so I'll want to nest these two layers to use them as one single layer easier. I'll just start this animation with a simple fade in by increasing the opacity from 0 to 100 for the rectangle. For the large M, I'll set a scale keyframe at 100%, then go backwards and scale it up so that it takes up more of the square that it sits in. Then it can scale down slightly. Then I'll create an opacity animation so that it starts out invisible and fades in. For my name, let's use a simple rectangular mask to reveal this. Create a mask outside of the name, then create a mask path keyframe. Now move the playhead forward and move the mask so that the name is revealed. Adjust the feather until it looks good. Now we have a simple multi-part logo animation. Depending on your logo, you can make some really cool designs and animations here. And lastly, we'll show a simple example of a logo animation with elements that directly interact. These lessons will help you make a more advanced logo animation that does a lot more than what we're going to show here. So here we have a logo and a website, and we're going to create an animation that combines them. For the logo itself, let's do a simple scale up and fade in by animating the scale and the opacity as we did before. Music 
for the website name, open up the text controls in the effects control panel, not the regular vector motion controls. Set a position keyframe at its final location. Then move the playhead back and create a new keyframe for position where the website name is over the logo. Now create a mask that covers the area that you want the website to end up and line it up perfectly with the bottom edge of the logo. Now when you play it back, you should have a website name that looks like it's coming out from behind the logo itself. This kind of masking is going to be really important for creating a more advanced logo animation. But these are the basics of creating an awesome logo design and animation, but obviously it can get much more complex. Sometimes you may even need to utilize After Effects for more advanced animations. For example, our relatively simple looking filter grade logo animation was done in After Effects and is much easier to accomplish in that program than it would be to recreate the effect in Premiere Pro. These lessons should at least give you an idea of how to turn your static logos into something more interesting and dynamic. Even a small subtle change can make your videos that much more entertaining to watch. If you found this tutorial helpful, let us know by liking and leaving a comment and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.